हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर विजन यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर वेंकटेश मितिन ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन बाय प्रोफेशन आई एम हियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू टू गिव यू सिंपल एंड वेरी इफेक्टिव नाइन वेज टू स्ट्रेंथन यूअर बोन्स डियर फ्रेंड्स इन माई लास्ट ट्वेंटी सेवन ईयर्स ऑर्थोपेडिक प्रैक्टिस आई केम अक्रॉस nearly all patients and the relative who are who accompanies with them always ask me sir please prescribe me calcium so that my all bones become strong dear friends taking calcium without doctor advice will cause a big problem and may be harmful for your body for example I have seen few patients who took calcium without advice of their doctors and land into kidney stones gall bladder stones so dear friends today i will advise you few important nine ways to strengthen your bones let us see what are they dear friends our skeleton is formed by 213 bones which gives a proper shape to our body bones have many functions like they support our body they protect our vital organs they allow us to move they provide an excellent environment for the bone marrow to produce new blood cells and above all they act as a storage area for many minerals particularly calcium in last few years because of active and vibrant social media everyone is aware about importance of our health but i humbly request your bone health should have a first priority irrespective of your age it is said one in two women and one in four men will have a fracture over their lifetime due to weak bone that is called as osteoporosis and specifically in the women's after menopause one woman can lose up to 20% of her bone mass now let us see what are the symptoms of the weak bone or a condition called as a osteoporosis patient usually get a back pain which is caused by micro fractures and collapsed vertebra they lost their height over the time they have a stooped posture bone that break much more easily than expected as i have promised you here with i share you nine ways to strengthen your bone number 1 eat high calcium food throughout the day calcium is the main mineral found in bones and must be consumed every day to protect bone health to build and maintain strong bones follow well balanced diet that provide at least 1200 to 1300 calories per day it should include plenty of proteins and foods rich in vitamins and minerals that supports bone health on an average every individual should take 1000 mg calcium per day but this demand increases in children's as well as in the women's after menopause and it may go up to 1300 to 1400 mg per day i will suggest few calcium rich food milk yogurt cheese number 2 get enough vitamin d vitamin d plays several roles in the bone health including helping your body to absorb calcium sunlight is a main source of vitamin d for many people our regular exposure to the sun is the most natural way to get enough vitamin d to maintain healthy blood level aim to get minimum 15 to 13 minutes of sunlight per day preferably in the morning and the evening 
the biggest reason that the good percentage of population are deficient in the vitamin D is because they don't get enough light in their lives and spend all their time within the home or in the office. I will suggest few vitamin D rich foods which also helps you to get perfect level of vitamin D. People need to supplement with up to 2000 international unit of vitamin D daily to maintain optimum levels. And you can find vitamin D in milk, fortified soya and rice beverages, fortified orange juice, fatty fish like salmon or sardines, margarines and egg oak. Number three, get enough nutrients. You must have a diet which gives high nutrients like potassium, vitamin K, manganese which help your body to absorb and use calcium. They are extremely important for building strong bone. Number four, eat lot of vegetable. Vegetables are the best source of vitamin C which stimulates the production of bone forming cells. In addition, vitamin C's antioxidant effect may protect bone cells from the damage. Vegetables also seem to increase bone mineral density. So I request you to eat lot of green leafy vegetable like broccoli, cabbage and okra. Number five, consume enough proteins. Protein helps to build your muscles, which ultimately helps keeping bone very strong. So choose protein rich fruit such as meat, chicken, fish, peas, soybeans, nuts and seeds. A high protein intake can also help to protect bone health during aging as well as weight loss. In fact, about 50% of bone is made up of protein. Number six, stay active to keep your bone strong. I will suggest you to be very active as well as you do some good exercises. You have to do three types of exercises, weight bearing exercises, which forces you to work against gravity. They include walking, running, jogging, climbing stairs, playing sports, for example, tennis, as well as dancing. Second, resistance exercises such as lifting weight can also strengthen bone. Third, stretching exercises like yoga as well as PT exercises which will keep you not only fit but helps to improve your balance and coordination which will lower your risk of falling and breaking bones. So our aim should be you should be active for at least 150 minutes each week. It is said the bone respond to that stage by becoming thicker and stronger. Number seven, I will suggest bad habits as well as food to be avoided to prevent your bones to get weak. You should not eat high salt food, stop alcohol consumption, stop smoking, don't eat lot of wheat bran, don't take excess vitamin A and don't take excess caffeine, for example coffee. So if you avoid this bad habit as well as food, I assure that you will not suffer from one of the most dangerous condition that is osteoporosis. Number eight, maintain a stable and healthy weight. In addition to eating a nutritious food, maintaining a healthy weight can also help to support a bone health. Being too thin or too heavy can negatively affect bone health. Furthermore, maintaining a stable weight rather than repeated losing or regaining it can help preserve bone density. And last, number nine, read the labels. Any medication you take could affect your skeleton health. 
for instance steroids which are routinely prescribed for the rheumatoid arthritis asthma and ulcerative colitis can impede bone resorption and formation and ultimately lead into osteoporosis so i humbly request you you must know every medicine comes with pros and cons and for that your family doctor as well as orthopedic doctor is a best person who can guide you so don't hesitate to take doctor's opinion about medicines pros and cons and above all i will request you to read every information on the tablet strip as well as a uh, syrup bottles to know exact doses and their side effects yes dear friends don't you feel that these nine ways are very simple and i am sure you can do it and again i advise you very humbly don't take calcium without doctor advice and i wish you all healthy life thank you very much